a lot of talk about the so-called death of the shopping mall, as traditional mall-based retailers struggle to generate traffic into their stores. We know there's been a wholesale shift in shopping habits. It's more and more people simply order things via the Internet, particularly now that this Amazon Prime gives you free shopping. But at a time when so many mall-based retailers are in the house of pain, how on earth do we explain the phenomenal strength of the stock of Federal Realty, FRT, the real estate investment trust that owns 90 shopping center properties located in some of the most densely populated areas of the United States? How can Federal Realty stock be up 13% year to date at a time when people aren't supposed to be visiting shopping centers anymore? How is it that the company's most recent quarter reported in early May was so robust when the death of the mall thesis has become so ascendant? You could say it's because all the REITs are doing well, because they get good dividends. But at these levels, Federal Realty gives you a 2.3% yield, better than the 10% uh, better than the tenure, but still much lower than you can get from other dividend stocks. Could it be that the alleged death of the shopping center is less of a problem than it seems? Or is Federal Realty just so good that they can triumph over these headwinds, which is frequent watchers of the show knows how I feel. Let's take a closer look with Don Wood. He's the president and CEO of Federal Realty. Find out more about how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Wood, welcome back to Man Money. Good to see you, Don. Have a seat. Thanks for having me. Don, you taught me the difference between shopping center and shopping mall. Now you're going to teach me a new one because I'm looking at your deck, which is always so great, and there's a cocoa walk, and you're saying you don't use shopping center. You say lifestyle center. Is that what you do now? No. First of all, the notion of whether something is called a lifestyle center or a shopping center, or in some cases even a shopping mall or whatever, isn't the only people that care about that are, are uh, people like yourself. Okay. People on, you know who doesn't care? Shoppers. Shoppers need to be in the right place. If they're in the right place, it doesn't matter what the format is, as long as, in my view at least, that format is organic, it's authentic, it is the way you want to live. Okay, I, well, look, if I want to shop, uh, I, I can I go on my cell phone and I can uh, go to Amazon. What am I missing? All right, I'm gonna. Can I try something? I hope this way. It's gonna be really embarrassing right, if this no, doesn't work. All right, you've been a guest long enough. You can. Pull it <laughs> I gotta try something. All right. Who are the Yankees playing tomorrow night? The Yankees play the Red Sox tomorrow at 7:05 p.m. Here's my point. I'm not a millennial, as you may have noticed. No, I. I, 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 I <laughs> Everybody, everybody uses this device and everybody. things like this device. Everybody to it's create. True. Not what they mostly are creating, in my view, is it's making everybody require a level of service that wasn't even available five years ago, okay. seven years ago, ten years ago. It, it makes us more impatient. Well, what does it, this have to do with it? Has going to everything, a to do, shop? Why? everything to do Tell with me. how it is that, that we're living because it's not just shopping. People want to, and it's in the mixed use properties that we do, particularly that you see, people want to live in a convenient place, work in a convenient place, be able to not be involved in lots of traffic. They want to be able to experience life. And so whether you call it lifestyle or whether you call it a shopping center, the bottom line is that level of convenience and that level of service means we all have to bring up our game. Oh, we got to okay. do better properties. So if I live at one, and you know, people don't understand, you can live at the, next to the shopping center. You can. You get the movies, you get the restaurants, you get your pets, you get uh, hair done. You get all the things that Amazon can't do for you. Transit-oriented also we Transit. kind of like. We want you close to a train. Right. We want okay. you close to a way that you can conveniently live. And the, the properties you have, you're not all over the country. You're where it's right. Well, look, at the, at, at, at the end of the day, it's a, still a supply and demand business. We're not the retailer, as we've said many times. We're the landlord, which means we've got to provide a place where there are at least two retailers, restaurants, uh, the health clubs, whatever it is, want the space. Right. That's now, how we can create that, that value. It's that demand. One of the reasons, there's a proven history of outperformance chart in this, which is really rather extraordinary from 2005. Europe, 85%. There isn't any of those that go They're all down. Well, They're actually all down because they do have problems. And one of the reasons why you've taught me that when there's a, a vacancy, it's actually good for you. Well, uh, look, it, it's some vacancy is good. You don't want too much. Right. We certainly have a period of time that, that, that you got to sit back and look and, and say, what is the changing consumer going to do? Right. I think it is why there's a flight to quality. Right. Uh, okay. That you see. I think quality is still, they, that quality, that real no, estate No, so if they are going to shop, one. they want it to be as cool as possible. Well, you just said the right word again, too. You said want. Right. They have to want to shop. They have to want to eat. They have to want to live. They can't need to because they don't need to anymore. Amazon's there. Right. Right. So it's that it, it really is that organic, authentic uh, environment that we just believe in thoroughly. 
And when uh, most recently when someone goes under, you've been able to raise rates because you've obviously produced more and more from the same properties. Well, we and have. you also have been able to make them bigger. Well, we have, and we've done that for a long time. On that chart you're looking at, one of the single biggest reasons for that, though, is the way we capitalize this company. The balance sheet of this company is very strong because I never want to have to raise money. Right. I want it opportunistically. And all you've done money. is make it better and better. You've lengthened it and you've lowered the you've lowered the cost of the money. Did you see the 30-year deal we yeah, just did? I couldn't believe three point seven five percent. That is 30 amazing years. for a shopping center. Well, to yeah, get I, that kind of rate. We have raised dividends to our shareholders every year since 1967, Jen. There is that's been through an awful lot of changes. You know, we talk about today being such a transformational yeah. time. There's been a lot of trans transformational times over the last 50 years, and we've raised our dividend every single year. So, so let's just use a good example. We know that there's been some problems in the sporting goods retailers. Surely. You've seen it. When you've lost one of those, have you replaced it with someone who pays more? Here's what's playing out right okay. now. Uh, right now with Sports Authority, I mean, we have five uh, right, sports okay. authorities, and that's pretty important to understand. Right. Just five. Not dependent on any one tenant. Right, it's a critical thing. Right. Uh, of those five, we'll see how that plays out. I suspect Two will be assumed by another uh, retailer, okay. so there will be no downtime. Right. Three will get back. On each of those three, I would expect more rent from the relet tenant than, than Sports and 30 Bank. We'll see how it plays out, but that's what we expect. Well, that's why you've been the consistent best one. That's Don Wood, President and CEO of Federal Realty Investment Trust, FRT. Look, we, it's been our fave since we started the show. You know that. Mad Money's back. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.